Hi, this is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines, and High Tech Sewing Machines. And today we're going to do a demonstrational video on our 7273 PLK Compact Automatic uh, Sewing Machine. And this machine is a computerized machine. Uh, it's capable of sewing uh, relatively heavy nylon webbing. It's also capable of sewing seatbelt webbing. You, know, you can also use it in um, the, the sling industry for doing lifting slings for, for cranes and so forth. You can use it for automotive webbing as well, and I, as I mentioned before, seat belt webbing. And uh, any type of flat uh, sewn webbing application this machine would be ideal for. So we're going to go ahead and do a demonstrational video on this uh, sewing, with these, sewing with this sewn sample here. Um, just to give you a rough introduction on this machine, it does have a large capacity bobbin. It does have a large capacity hook in the machine as well. It uses a 794 needle system uses the same shuttle hook and needle as what's in a uh, Juki 441 model or a Durkop Adler 205 as well. <coughs> so I just, <coughs> excuse me, I just wanted to give you a little uh, introductory video to this machine and also we'll sew a sample on this so that you can see how the machine performs. So in order to be able to do this, I'm just going to go ahead and turn the machine on. And then you'll see the operating system will come up and then the machine will cycle up and down. Okay, so the machine cycled up and down in a, in a full sewing revolution here. And now I'll go ahead and push the thread off to the right hand side here, just making sure that it's secured and out of the way. Then I'll go ahead and insert the sample into the machine, but before we do that, we have to press a button that brings up the uh, sewing pattern, that we're, the particular sewing pattern that we're trying to do. And then after that, I can place the sample in the machine and we'll go ahead and begin sewing. When you put the sample in the machine, you want to make sure that you have it pushed all the way up against the edge guide that's on the back side of the sample. And then you'll see on the floor we have two pedals, and you probably can't see these in the frame, but the pedals that are on the right hand side are used to actuate the clamping mechanism. So by um, activating the mechanism, in order to activate the mechanism, I'm just going to push the pedal on the right hand side once, and then I'm going to push it again a second time. That clamps down both of these clamps. And then after that, I'll push the pedal on the left-hand side, and that'll initiate the sewing sequence. And now you'll see the automatic thread trimmer has been activated, and it, it trims the thread from both the top and the bottom sides. So this again was four layers of relatively heavy duty webbing with a uh, relatively tight weave. And you'll see that the stitch pattern is very nice. We do have doubled up stitches on both the top and the bottom of the pattern. So those are reinforcement stitches and it just, it's sort of typical box X type pattern. So you can see the stitching is very, very even. It's very, very tight as well. And again, just to give you a rough idea of the thickness for this webbing, this again is uh, probably a little bit well over a quarter inch and maybe heading a little towards three eighths of an inch give you a rough idea of the thickness of the sample. So um, when you start the sewing machine from the operator sequence, you want to make sure that there's no material in the machine. You're just going to, um, you know, if it were turned off, we would just go ahead and shut the machine off and then make sure there's no material in the machine because the needle does do a cycle up and down. So you want to make sure that there's no material in the machine when you turn the machine on. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, and make, so always make sure at the end of every work day or at the end of every sample cycle that you pull the piece out and then allow, if you're shutting the machine off, allow it to resume that, uh, uh, allow, take the piece out of work so that you can, um, so that you can um, allow enough room um, and so that when the needle cycles up and down that it doesn't actually go through your particular sample. So again, this is a uh, demonstrational video on the 7273 PLK computerized automatic pattern sewing machine. And my name is Ryan Neal from the USA offices of Neal's Saddlery and Harness, Cowboy Sewing Machines and High Tech Sewing Machines. And I do thank you for your time today.